Hey everyone, Alistair Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking torso rotation. How we can get more open or how we can be more appropriate at impact to deliver you better golf shots. So I'm gonna share with you a couple of different things just to demonstrate this. A little bit about some 3D stuff, which is why I'm wearing this strap. Some drills you can do indoors to help these movements that'll improve your golf and make you a better golfer straight away. If you are a first time viewer, please consider following me or subscribing. I post videos like this every week, all designed to lower your scores and improve your golf and make you a better player. Keep watching to learn how. So let's start off with this bit of kit here. This is 4D motion. And I'll share with you the live screen I'm filming here today. I just want to demonstrate to you here really what impact should look like in terms of torso. So basically how this system works is if I get in the right impact position like so, you will hear it beeping. Now a lot of golfers feel that impact and setup are pretty much the same. You know, certainly if I ask students to come in for a lesson, they'll say to me, well, you know, if I say to them, show me impact position, they'll just stand there in the setup position. Now, as you can see there when I'm doing this, that is quite a bit different to how I want to set up to the golf ball. Now, if you looked at this line here, my torso there is, well, at this case there, that's about 20 something degrees open. My sight's not bad, but the screen's quite small down there. 15 degrees open at that point, getting up there to 20 degrees open. I know tour average, which is this is what this is set to, is about 21 to 22 degrees open. With this system also, it's also measuring, you know, the placement and tilt of my body too. So forward bend, basically. So if I don't bend the right amount up and down forward, it won't beep also. So I have to get in the right spot. If I over rotate, it also won't beep. So it's getting the rotation right and the blends right. So I could practice all day long at home getting this auditory sound to come on to allow me to feel my body getting into a more appropriate position at impact to help my golf. So that might be really useful. Well, everyone's gonna go out and buy a 4D kit. But what you can also do with this system as well is hit shots and look at your numbers afterwards and then relate to it. But this is one way of doing it. What I'm gonna get you to do is use the sticks in a way to get the same feels. Now, and there's a couple other things I want to explain maybe before we get to that. Let's just take this off for a second. So what a lot of golfers kind of, I think, misunderstand is they would think that the shoulder should be square at impact, parallel impact. And that's kind of true. As we just said there, the torso is going to be about 20 degrees open. The hips are going to be about 45 degrees open, ideal world. Okay. The shoulders are gonna be around about zero. So what happens is, when we get to impact, we are opened up like this. But because my hands are on the club and placed towards the golf ball, that makes my shoulders look parallel, but my torso is open. So trying to keep your shoulders square at impact would probably be, for me, the worst thought you could have. I would like you to feel that you're gonna be as open as you can. Now, the only caveat to this is if you try and get open sometimes very early in transition, you might start down too much with the upper body. Again, if the lower body starts the opening and this has the slight lag, then that's all good for me, okay? But we definitely wanna feel that the torso is getting open and the reality is the shoulders will be square. But don't try and think about that. It's the fact that your arms are on the club, your arms are set back here, so it's going to make it look like this is more square when it really isn't. So a great way of you practicing these fields for rotation, and we can do this with hips, with torso and all sorts of stuff, is to use things you have, which is why I've got my golf bag in here. Now, this is my spare stand bag, hence why it's got a few clubs in it, but not a full set. But you could also use some baskets if you wanted to, stacked up on the range, two or three baskets together, or you could use a cardboard box or even your, your tour bag or whatever. But if you take an alignment rod, Put it behind your back, loop your arms behind it like so, making sure this is sticking out to the trail side a little bit. Take your address position. Now, if I get into that impact position there now, you'll see now I'm making contact with my golf bag at the point of contact with the ball. 
So if I made some swings and even did this as a warm up, and again, I'm trying to feel that my chest, my pelvis is downward facing a little bit. So it's downward facing here, starts to rotate, starts to get a bit more upward facing. But still in reality, it's not upward, upward facing. So it's there and I'm making contact with my golf bag with the stick. So this is starting to get me the right tilt, the right four bend in my body. At the same time, starting to get me to feel this openness. Now, obviously, to get this openness, my feet, and I'll do one more this angle, my feet are having to play a role to support that. So you see my feet here, this lead foot is what we call supinating, my trail foot is pronating. So my hips are supporting my torso, my torso is helping in my arms and body and so on move. Now if I did this also on my hip line, I could work on my hip rotation too. So I could do the same drill. Obviously I'd probably want to try and make that contact on my golf bag a little bit earlier than my torso, because we want this to be a bit more open than my torso. There'd be nothing wrong with you trying to feel they were both open the same amount, because again, most golfers would not open up enough. So opening up too much is kind of a good thing. As I said, if you do it too early in transition, that's the only time it can be a bad thing. But generally speaking, you know, have a real go opening up won't do you any harm. So the process, the reps, the way to practice would be to get this rod behind your back, make four or five swings, make contact with the wall, with the golf bag, whatever it might well be, then go ahead and smash a few shots away. Repeat that process a few times and see how it starts to make you feel. I would do it also as a dry drill at home. So while you're making a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and the kettle's boiling, you might get something and do this in the kitchen. You might do this while you're watching TV. Again, repeating the movements is really good for you. Moving well is essentially stretching. It's like yoga for golf whilst you're watching TV. So practicing the moves you want to do and want to be in is gonna help. The more we rotate our body, the less we're gonna move our hands through the ball, the more consistent you will start to become. So hope you've enjoyed today's video on the rotation of the torso, particularly the positions you need to be getting into a little bit look at the kind of 4D way of training it, a little bit look at alignment rod way of training it. So wild class is a high technical way of training it and a low technical way of training it. Hopefully you enjoy both those ways and uh, they're going to help you improve your golf and play better golf. If you have enjoyed today's video, please click like and share the video. It really helps my channel. I really appreciate if you could do that. I'd also like to invite you to join the conversation down below, post any requests for videos, any questions, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Lastly, if you haven't followed or subscribed, please hit my lower down this bottom corner. I'd love to have you on board on my channel. I'd love to help you golf and really make you enjoy your golf more and really make this channel about what you want to see. So thanks for tuning in today. Hope to see you again here soon.